What's going on students? Welcome to another Method Man episode where I will be showing you how to solve equations inside a transversal. If you missed a video on what a transversal is and the corresponding angles within a transversal, I suggest you click on this video here first. If I color code this transversal, it's going to make it way easier for you. So here's what I mean. Let's say I make this one blue. That means the one vertical from it, because they're vertical angles, is congruent. So that's also going to be blue. Since this is the same corresponding angle as this one, and it's cut by a transversal through parallel lines, this one's also going to be congruent, which I'll color blue, as well as this, because they're vertical from one another. Now let's color things in red. This one's red, this one's vertical, so that's red. This is corresponding to this one, so that would be red, and this is vertical, so that would be red. Again, everything that's the same color are the same angle measurement. Anything that's red and blue added together will equal 180. Why is that? It's because red and blue, they make a straight line. All right, now let's get to our problem. I'm only given one angle measurement, which is this 40 degrees in red. That means everything in red is 40 degrees as well. That's 40, that's 40, and that's 40. Now that I know that this is 40, this makes a linear player with the blue. So that if that's 40, they have to add up to 180, which makes this one 140. It's got an expression on it, so I'll pause right there. It's got an expression, this one's 140. Now my problem is all set up. I can just solve this letter by letter. To set up an equation to solve for x, I can set 5x equal to 140 because those two are congruent. 5x equals 140. Simple equation, I can just divide both sides by 5 and I get x equal to 28. There are two ways to solve for x. That's just one way, which is the easiest way. The other hard way is to set it up by using this 180. I can do 40 plus 5x, since that's red and blue, they're gonna equal 180. I can do this equation as well. 40 plus 5x equals 180. Now you could sit there and try to do the problem too. You're still gonna get the same answer. Actually, I'll do it for you. 5x. 180 minus 40 is 140. And then look, you're you're ending up with the same answer as the shortcut way that you did in the first place. Let's tackle y. You can do this two ways. You can set up 3y minus 1 plus 40 equals 180. Or you can do the shortcut way. I know 3y minus 1 is the same value as 140. You can set up that equation. From here, it's a simple two-step equation. Just add one to both sides. You get 3y equals 141, and then divide both sides by three. You got your y value as 47. Just to recap, I would color code it, fill in angles to help you solve an equation and set up an equation, and then start solving. I, I promise you, it would help if you color code this. If I make this red, that's vertical from it, so that's red. This would be red because that's at the same position as this one. Corresponding angles are congruent in a transversal of parallel lines. And this one would be red because these two are vertical. Now grab your other color and color everything else blue. Blue, 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 blue. I'm trying to look for an important information which is this 65. That means if this is 65, everything in blue is 65 as well. To find the value of red, all I have to do is do 180 minus 65 because that's a linear pair and that would make this 115. Now you can do the same thing. Start solving for x and y, letter by letter. 6x plus 7, that's going to equal 115 because they're the same color. And then solve away, minus 7 minus 7, you got 6x equals 150 minus 7 which is 108. And then divide both sides by 6 and you got x equals 18. Easy day. Solving for y, same color as well. 115 equals y plus 9. One step equation, subtract 9 to both sides and you got y equal to 106. Please pause the video and try this one on your own. This is the last example. This one's a little different because there's not one given angle measurement anywhere. 
But if you color code things, it's going to help you write that equation. Why do teachers do that? Why do they give you two examples and then they give you a complete different one for homework and quizzes? You know why? It's because we want you to think. Just pause the video, hit play, and you will get a brief explanation. I can't set up an equation for y because it's by itself. There's nothing else to compare y with, so the first step is to solve for x. Since these two expressions have the same color, they're both red, I can set them equal to each other to solve for x. 8x minus 10 equals 7x. Solve away and you get x equals 10. After that, I can plug in this value for x right here, 7 times 10, to get this angle measurement to equal to 70. How's that going to help me? Well, if this is 70, this one makes a linear pair with this blue one, so this one's got to be 110. Now I can set up an equation to solve for y. If I'm solving for y, I got 6y plus 20, and now I have something to compare it to. That's equal to 110. 20 on both sides 110 minus 20 is 90 equals 6 y and you get your answer for y to be 15 if you like this video throw me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more math lessons and some math skits and raps until then i will see you on another easy day peace